Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the First Lady, Your Excellency the Lord Justice, Your Excellency, Your Excellencies the High Commissioners, <coughs> the Attorney General, the Chairman of the Electoral Commission. I see we have a lot of uh, new elected members of Parliament. Congratulate you. Uh, Your Excellency, Honorable Members of Parliament, and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the law says that uh, the Electoral Commission must identify the person who is to be sworn as a president because a fake one might come. <laughs> And it, it, also, it also provides for a certificate to be given. So I've got a certificate here, which I don't know the procedure, whether I should take it there. It reads, Certificate of Results of Presidential Election. The Electoral Commission of Kenya certifies that the candidate who has been duly elected the President of the Republic of Kenya under the provisions of Section 5 of the Constitution in the presidential elections held on 27th December 2007 is Honorable Mwai Kibaki. <laughs> I now present the certificate to His Excellency. I now call on the Lord Chief Justice to come and uh, conduct the swearing in ceremony. I now call on the Lord Chief Justice to come and uh, conduct the swearing-in ceremony. call upon His Excellency, the President of Republic of Kenya, Mwai Kibaki, for swearing. kibaki na hapa kwamba nitatenda kazi zangu za urais kwa jamhuri ya Kenya kwa uaminifu na kutimiza wajibu wa kazi hizo kwa bidii na kwa moyo mkujufu na kwamba nitawatetendea haki kwa watu wote wa mujibu wa sheria mila na desturi za jamhuri ya Kenya bila uoga upendeleo uba wala chuki ewe Mwenyezi Mungu unisaidie
Bon, plaisir. Mimi mwai kibaki na hapa kwamba nitakuwa mwaminifu kwa Jamhuri ya Kenya na kuitumikia kwa moyo wangu wote na kwamba nitaihifadhi nitailinda na kuitetea katiba ya Kenya kwa mujibu wa sheria iliyowekwa ewe Mwenyezi Mungu unisaidie <clears throat> Fellow Kenyans, following the announcement of the presidential election results by the Electoral Commission of Kenya, I stand before you humbled and grateful for the opportunity you have given me to serve you again as your president for a second five years term. I, I thank all Kenyans who voted in large numbers in these elections. I thank all of you for the trust you have bestowed upon me in renewing my mandate, which I accept with sincere gratitude and humility. I am confident that together we will succeed in changing our country into a better home for all Kenyans, gratitude and humility. I am confident that together we will succeed in changing our country into a better home for all Kenyans. The elections were very closely contested. I thank those of our brothers and sisters who voted for me and other presidential candidates for expressing their democratic right and choice. As a Democrat, I acknowledge and, res the, and respect the right of every Kenyan to choose candidates of their choice. With the elections behind us now, I assure them that as President of Kenya, I will serve everyone equally, irrespective of the person they may have voted for. I urge all of us to set aside 
<coughs> the passions that were ex excite excited by the election process and work together as one people with a single purpose of building a strong, united, prosperous, and equitable country. Equitable country. I want to commend my opponents, especially Honorable uh, Kalonzo Musioka and Honorable Raila Odinga. They campaigned strongly and garnered support from across the country. I call on all the political leaders to set aside their differences. Let us all work together to build consensus on issues of national importance, including a new constitution and any matter that benefits and improves the welfare of our people. Remaining committed to the conduct of, of honest, orderly, and credible electoral elections that have enabled the true verdict of the people to prevail. I call upon all candidates and Kenyans in general to accept the verdict of the people. With the general election now behind us, it is now ti the time for healing and reconciliation among all Kenyans. We need to heal the differences that have been created amongst us between different communities, regions, and religions. In promoting unity, tolerance, peace, and harmony among all Kenyans, I appeal to all political and religious leaders to do the same, as to ensure that our young people and women are fully represented in all public appointments. My government will be committed to the task of creating. In conclusion, fellow Kenyans, you have given us a vote of that we began five years ago. You have chosen the leaders you wish to serve you during the next five years. You have given us the agenda for change you wish to see.